king of cups in reverse with the queen of pentacles <laughs> someone's in two minds here about wanting to open up and wanting to have commitment with you you're dealing with someone who's emotionally manipulative someone who is emotionally unavailable this person does not want to be vulnerable all right but they're definitely on the same page with you they see you as marriage material wifey material okay they want stability security with you okay but when it comes to opening up this person just will lead you on either this is someone who's leading you on giving you false hopes at least that's how you see them or this is just someone you're who has trust issues okay the love is there but they're in two minds okay going back going back and forth with the decision is what i'm getting so just trying to weigh out the pros and cons but just being very indecisive how do you see yourself in this connection gemini how do you see yourself in this connection too many cards okay let's do queen of wands here four of cups in reverse and the star in reverse gemini you are looking at something as a missed opportunity on here okay I'm getting here as that you could have been someone, you know, who was uh, taking a lot of action, making shit happen in the past year. You were very independent and very confident, okay, about this relationship. You wanted something very stable from this person here. But right now, I feel you're just doing you. You're doing you. You're just being very um, focused on yourself, okay? You're doing what you're passionate about. Nothing to do with this relationship out here or nothing to do with this connection or this person out here. You're just going to focus on what makes you happy. You're treating this connection as a missed opportunity because you have no choice but to move on here. Okay, either you're moving on, if not, but at least you've withdrawn yourself from this person here. You have because this person's just probably playing games with you or you feel they're not serious about you. You're just highly ambitious right now, very goal-oriented, very determined to get what you want. But if it is not this person here, you're just ready to do what makes you happy. You can just ready to move forward and follow your goals and definitely not chase this person here. You could have waited a lot for this person to give you the attention and love that you deserved or probably waited for this person to come towards you and give you something more substantial or but this person kept breadcrumbing you. Is what I'm hearing, or probably just give you emotional baits. How does this person see themselves? Okay, what are they doing on this side? Tell me how this person sees themselves in this connection. Okay, this person could have blocked you, or they could have had you blocked on social media, or they're just very defensive overall. Knight of Wands, they want to come back towards you. Okay, they want to come back. I don't know God here. Five of Swords in reverse. Great, thank God. Both the Knight of Pentacles here at the bottom of the deck. I'm getting someone here who's always been very, very focused on themselves. Okay. You are clearly dealing with someone here for whom they were just good where they were. Okay. This is someone very self-centered, very self-sufficient. They have everything that they need except a romantic relationship. Someone who is acting single or being single, even if they were in a connection with you. They were all about their money themselves, okay? They would throw themselves into work. Money, work, business, career was their priority is what I'd say, okay? They were financially independent, okay? But someone who was more focused on their financials, their mental security and overall independence rather than making relationship a priority, all right? That was, that is their issue here. Now this person with the seven of wands, nine of wands and five of swords in reverse here. Now this person is determined to come towards you okay they are no longer wanting to sabotage this connection here because they realize that what they did they fucked things up okay they know they messed things up here this person wants a reconciliation well i'm not saying it's a full-blown reconciliation here but at least like a conversation reconciliation is what they want with you they're rushing in to communicate and i think with the seven of wands yeah they have their guards up but i'm also looking at this as someone who's very determined to come towards you and prove a point like hey i've changed you know like can we just try this again okay how do you view this person or this connection? How does Gemini view this person or this connection? Ace of Cups, alright. You would definitely want a new emotional cycle with this person or this is how you view them as someone who wants to start with you again. But with the hangman here, you see this as someone who's just not doing anything about it because of which with the Three of Cups in reverse, there is a lack of reconciliation here. The Empress, yeah. You know that this person wants this with you, okay? Because that's how you view them. You view them as someone who wants to open up, who probably wants to start, who loves you a lot, okay? Definitely. But the problem here is that they won't do anything about it. You could view this person as the Empress or someone who wants 
uh, something more uh, futuristic with you or you view them as someone very abundant okay but uh, you definitely see them as someone who has a lot of love for you okay but they won't do anything about it they're just not taking action they're just suspended there and not making a move towards you so things are at a standstill at a halt here you can also see this person as someone who's just making an unnecessary sacrifice i mean there's just nothing getting done just nothing's being done here this could also be you who views this person as someone you want something more committed with okay uh tell me how does this person view gemini what is their belief about this connection or how do they view gemini Four of Wands, ooh la la, you both want this. Give me one more card, but they see you as being non-communicative. They see you as obsessing about communication, like you could be wanting to talk to them like yesterday, but you won't do it because you're procrastinating. So they could see you as a missed opportunity, but for the Four of Wands, they definitely want marriage, okay? They would want to marry you yesterday. But they see you as someone who's just not putting in the work anymore. The Eight of Pentacles is reversed to me is that where once they see you as someone who is working very hard, giving you 150% to make things work out, but now they see you as someone who's just backing out, you know, you're copping out. You're not putting in the work because this, for them, they see you as someone who stopped putting in the work because you didn't see any results, you know, of, uh, you didn't see something coming to fruition and now you're lacking the motivation to invest anything more into them. Knight of Pentacles in reverse, yeah. So they view as someone who's fed up of investing into them because things were just too slow moving here. You're not talking to them, Four of Swords. Tell me, uh, why is all this happening? Why is all this happening? Why is all this happening? lack of illumination here you know someone's having a hard time looking at things in more positive light because of, of course right there is no communication between you guys you both want the same thing but they see you as not making a move you think it's a missed opportunity this person out here is wanting to come in and communicate towards you okay but i mean it's just that they view you as someone who just is probably not interested okay because of which i think the miscommunication here because there is no communication <laughs> but yeah give me one more card for the sun in reverse no, give me one more card for the... Okay, we got five more cups. Someone's constantly crying over spilt milk. Constantly grieving a loss. Constantly living in the past. Constantly like, you know, um, in that dramatic world of, oh my God, that should, that should have worked out in a better way. Constantly holding on to the sadness and disappointment from the past. This person could be someone who thinks you're disappointed in them or they're disappointed in you. Okay, whatever. But for someone's here out here with the sun in reverse and the five of cups here, I'm getting someone who's constantly looking at the negatives instead of the positives. Okay, holding on to the past pain grudges but it has resentment but there could be a lot of guilt here okay about what i mean there's six of wands here both of you definitely want to move forward here okay you do but there's a lack of emotions coming out okay forward moment is there okay but there could be a lot of ego problems between you guys here okay someone's too egoistical to open up and tell them tell the opposite person that they fucked up they messed up because this person definitely has the five of swords and reverse on their side here because you are fed up and now this person wants to change their ways okay they want to come in they want to be very honest about their feelings they're dropping their guards down so yeah this person could be constantly crying over spilt milk okay they're still living in the past about what they fucking did i'm getting like a huge element of guilt here they want this with you but they're just lacking hope they're not having they're having a hard time looking at things in a more optimistic way okay they're being very pessimistic about this okay what action will um gemini take towards this person that they're dealing with standing in your power huh and stressing about it at the same time give me one more card you're having sleepless like hierophant in reverse you don't want to commit to this situation here because for you, this is a situation that just didn't come into fruition, okay? You could have waited and waited and waited and waited and waited for things to come, you know, and to work in your favor here. Um, <clears throat> this is a fucking long-term investment, okay? I'm sorry I'm cursing so much. Just ignore that. But this was a situation here where you were like literally like very close to getting the results okay but i think you've lost patience you're not being able to wait for this anymore you feel you wasted your time and energy out here 
but you're pretty disappointed and frustrated out here. And I think with a higher point in reverse here, you're having a hard time committing to this situation. Now, to me, this looks like this was a very strong spiritual connection that you felt with this person here, but now you don't feel it anymore, okay? Because you're living in your head with the nine of swords here. It's like you're stressing, overthinking, you know, you're in panic mode. But with the emperor here, you just feel the need to stand by your power and take control of your life. Otherwise, you know, it's just going to end up in a disaster here. What action will this person take towards Gemini? Wow, thank you. Give me one more card. Whoa. This person will come in and apologize to you. Okay, if there is, this is not an apology. Page of Cups is usually an apology, but this person is going through a lot right now. So you're going to have to have to have some patience before this person comes in. Okay. The Ten of Swords is the energy of someone. They, they're going through a lot out here. Okay. They're trying to put something to an end here. Okay. Now this could be a relationship that they are in. Doesn't have to be. Okay. It's not for a few of them not getting that, that much. I just feel like this person is feeling very, very exhausted right now. Okay. But there is an overthinking and over analyzing. Okay. It's almost like the Ten of Swords to me is an ending to something painful and a new beginning. So that thing is coming. Okay. I feel they're coming towards you, but it's just not going to be as fast as you think it is. Because this person, six of cups in reverse here, this person is still stuck and living in the past. Now, this doesn't have to do anything with you, Gemini. Okay, because with the five of swords, I'm constantly getting this is someone here who's constantly, you know, sabotaging connections. This could be a pattern that they keep repeating with their relationships. Okay, and when they have a potential relationship or a relationship that has a lot of potential, uh, they tend to fuck it up because of the kind of hurt that they've had. So they haven't healed. And haven't moved on from what they went through. Okay, it could be dealing with someone very sensitive because the King of Cups in reverse can be very sensitive. Okay, very sensitive. They can be very touchy. I feel this person is coming towards you. Okay, but at least they're going through a lot right now. Okay, but I feel there is communication coming in, some emotional communication coming in towards you. Okay, they're going to open up towards you because there is this energy of where they're constantly thinking about a situation that they're holding a grudge against which they haven't forgiven could be another person totally okay that does not have to be with you could be you but they're trying to forgive and move on okay they're trying to put an end to that you know uh, that pain and sadness that they've gone through okay tell me what is the best possible outcome for Gemini in this year? Yeah, why am I not surprised? It's going to take some time, okay? With the temperance here, patience is going to be needed here. Something is going to work out in divine timing, okay? With Eight of Cups, okay, I'll take that. I feel there is going to be communication that you're getting in, okay? Knight of Cups and Reverse, yeah, see? With the Death card here, something could end, or with the Ace of Swords and the Death here, there is clarity here coming in, okay? I feel there is clarity here, but this is, I, I don't know. <sighs> There is a reconciliation. I do see a reconciliation here, okay? But it's going to take some time before this person comes in. You're going to have to exercise a lot of self-control and you're going to have to release any kind of expectations and um, that you have with this person here, okay? You're going to have to surrender to the universe here because I feel there is communication coming in from this person here. But with the Knight of Cups in reverse here, I feel now you're going to be the one who's shut off, okay? Because these are very contradictory energies out here. I think they are going to communicate with you or you're getting very fed up of this. Now, it, it can go two ways, okay? Because I do see the death card here. Now, I'm going to give you both the scenarios. Either there is communication coming in, okay, which is going to give you closure, all right? And uh, you're going to cut this person off because they're still being emotionally unavailable or still giving you the entire story or still not giving you the entire picture or still being emotionally unavailable to you. Or this person is going to come in and communicate with you, but... You're the one who's going to be close up. I feel it's going to be the first part where you're going to cut this person off because you're fed up, right? This is all you wanted is what I'm getting. Maybe this is all you were waiting for. And now that this person's coming in, you're just going to let it go. Okay. But if there is a new start between you guys, I see the Ace of Swords here. This is a beautiful new beginning because the Ace of Swords tells me that there's a new beginning, which is starting with a lot of honesty, a lot of truthfulness. Okay. At least you know what the fuck is going on. Okay. So there's no bullshit going on okay you're just cutting through the bullshit and if you want to start with this person you can start fresh or you can completely let this go okay i hope i made sense to you please do leave your like 
your comments below do like share subscribe and i will see you next time bye bye